What secrets are Felicity Huffman and William H. Macy trying to hide from you in their college admissions scandal? Find out next. Welcome back to the channel, Shakers. Derek Van Shake here. We've been covering and exposing this college admissions scandal on this channel. The first video we did on this was centered around Lori Lachlan's role in this scandal. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Full House actress Lori Lachlan, whose two daughters were admitted to the University of Southern California as competitive rowers even though they never participated in the sport. Now, actress Felicity Huffman is the celebrity mom most famous for her role on Desperate Housewives. Generous donation will ensure our kids beat them out. <clears throat> How generous. 15,000. What's ironic is that she pretty much lived that exact scene in real life, paying $15,000 to get the SAT proctor to correct her daughter's exam. Yeah, the same guy whose main job it is to make sure no one else cheats on the exam, she paid that guy off to erase and pencil in the correct answers for her daughter after the exam. Unlike actress Lori Loughlin and her husband Massimo Giannulli, who decided to fight the college admission scandal charges, Felicity Huffman pled guilty, claiming she did it all for her kids and was just trying to be a good mom. However, was that really the reason? We're gonna analyze the evidence and break down body language to finally reveal the truth. Now, let's get started. Felicity is married to the actor William H. Macy. It was you! And he claims to know nothing about it. Now, what do you think about that? It seems kind of hard to believe, right? Since they were allegedly happily married. So there's no real reason why she wouldn't at least mention this to him. He's claimed that he met the couple at their LA home and allegedly told them a proctor could boost their daughter's SAT results by secretly correcting any incorrect test answers. Now let's think all that's involved to pull this off and all she would need to do to hide this from him. All the phone calls, text messages, emails, in-person meetings, and $15,000 mysteriously missing from their bank account. Yeah, he surely knew, and she's probably not too happy that she had to take the brunt of all this. The couple has been arguing a lot, and quote, this situation has been very trying on Felicity and William's marriage. It's no wonder why they're having some marital problems now. Since she got caught holding the bag, and there was no real evidence against him, so he gets to walk free. They had her on tape. They didn't have William H. Macy on tape. I know, it's just hard to believe that she did this isolated from the husband. Yeah, it's completely ridiculous to think William didn't know about it. Now, here's William H. Macy casually talking about his wife and kids a couple of years ago before the scandal broke. Felicity's a great mom. Did you notice how his left foot tilted up when he said Felicity is a great mom? That's called defying gravity. We sometimes do that when we feel tension and uneasiness with what we just said. You can think of it as an apprehensive eek moment. The movement of a person's feet in body language can tell us a lot. Since our feet are so far away from our head, naturally, we sometimes forget about their subconscious movements. Also, throughout talking about his wife and kids, you'll notice him giving himself a self-comforting hand massage. We'll get back to this, but for now, let's keep going. And when I hit play, see if he can pick out anything here. They're really cool young women and, and really fun to be around and smart as whips. Did you spot it? Watch again. They're really cool young women and, and really fun to be around and smart as whips. Yep, he was nodding his head with congruent body language with the first two things he said. They're really cool young women and, and really fun to be around. But when he said smart as whips, he starts shaking his head no, incongruent with his words. Smart as whips. Keep in mind, this of course doesn't mean he thinks his kids are stupid. He just doesn't fully believe that his kids are as smart as he's saying. So which is more convincing to you? I believe in you or I believe in you. Tears streaming down her face. Why didn't you believe in me? Why didn't you think I could do it on my own? I felt like I wanted to be in the driver's seat. I wanted to be a business lady. Business lady. Now, remember when William said this? Felicity's a great mom. And we oddly found his body language to be apprehensive. Well, watch this. And if you were outside of that band, the good mother, if you're like the good enough mother, or the adequate mother, or the, you know, the mother who, you know, 
doesn't like her kids that much, well, then you're a bad mother. Is Felicity Huffman actually implying that she doesn't like her two daughters very much in this very public interview? Well, let's keep watching. You're either going to have a Harvard grad or, or an axe murderer. Go. You go, oh, no pressure. Fantastic. I don't know how to do this. Well, maybe that's why she wanted her two daughters to get into a good college. This lady is crazy. What it takes to be a good mother which is basically spending time with your children. Oh, this must be when she tells us it's so hard to balance work and family. Okay, well, let's keep watching. It's drudgery. It's boring. It's menial. What the hell? She's saying all this while knowing her two daughters will surely see this interview? I know you're gonna get a lot of letters, people going, I find it really fulfilling. Well, fantastic, great. I'm a bad mom and I'm gonna say it out loud because I don't know what else to do. This interview was just a few years ago when her two daughters were pre-teens. She was not a new mom getting used to a new role. So if she admittedly doesn't seem to like her two daughters and openly identifies as a bad mom, why would she pay $15,000 to an SAT proctor unbeknownst to her daughter for a better SAT score? You guessed it, it was likely for herself. Similar to how we saw college was Lori Loughlin's dream and not her daughter, Olivia Jades. I didn't go and so I think for her, I, I really want that even more. I just want her to have the college um, you know, experience. I do want the experience of like game days, partying, I don't really care about school, as you guys all know. <laughs> Mostly my parents really wanted me to go because both of them didn't go to college. Prior to Felicity Huffman's sentencing, the judge received letters from William H. Macy saying, some of the hurt and anger will take years to work through. Yeah, he seems to be playing victim in all this, hoping to gain some sympathy from the judge. Ava Longoria wrote, Felicity told the bullying, enough. Apparently there's bullying on the set of Desperate Housewives. Who knew? Mark Cherry said in his letter, she's one of the best people I know. It's menial. And Felicity said in her own letter to the judge, in my desperation, to be a good mom. I'm a bad mom. I talked myself into believing that all I was doing was giving my daughter a fair shot. 14 days in prison is the sentence. She'll be uh, incarcerated for about 10 or 11 days. I mean, I'm not making light of this. I have never heard of a federal sentence this low. I gotta agree with the judge. This is a very low sentence. Now watch the media try to play up and fabricate the drama of a celebrity in prison. She has to do her time in the federal penitentiary in Northern California, about 340 miles from her home in LA. It's a much cooler climate, but the Bureau of Prisons may choose to send her to Victorville, which is only about 85 miles from Huffman's home, and it's in the desert. It's just 10 days. Oh no, it's a little warmer at the prison closer to her Southern California home, so she wants to go to the one that's farther away because it's just a little bit cooler. I think we could all imagine Felicity talking to her attorney like a travel agent. Now, which of my prison options offer badminton? You are yelled at. I think it's gonna be cleaning bathrooms. What was the food like there? It's horrible. You couldn't even really tell necessarily what it was. You mean she's going to be eating prison food in prison too? The full sentence, 14 days imprisonment, a $30,000 fine, supervised probation, and 250 hours of community service. About 10 days in prison, reading books to children for a month, and a few thousand dollars out of her 20 plus million dollar net worth? Talking about a slap on the wrist. The rich and well-connected get off easy again, just like our buddy Jesse Smollett. I've been truthful and consistent on every single level since day one. The media keeps talking about how these parents did it for their kids, so how much of a crime is it? No, Lori Loughlin and Felicity Huffman seem to have done this for themselves, surely because their child's academic outcome directly reflected on them personally. Ethics seem to be put aside for them to personally look as good as possible in the public eye and to their ritzy friends.
Now in the comments, what do you think Felicity Huffman's sentence should have been? Let everyone know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you think Felicity Huffman got off easy. Give this video a thumbs down if you think her sentence was too harsh. You probably noticed we have a new studio. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much everything has been upgraded so we can crank out more content at a higher quality. To see what we did and what we still have going on, check out the vlog channel listed and linked in the description. Remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on new body language and investigative videos where we always shake up YouTube and I'll see you at the top.